This video presents the thin film shader used by ArcaCAD's built-in CineRender engine. By using this shade, we can further improve certain rendering characteristics of surfaces. Here you can see some soap bubbles using the conventional rendering settings. The representation of the bubbles can be further improved. Currently, these look like glass spheres rather than soap bubbles. We can use the thin film shader to achieve the desired effect. Let's open the Surface Settings dialog. Here we already duplicated a glass material. We won't need the Color Channel, the Bump Channel, or the Alpha Channel. We can delete the layers from the Reflectance Channel as well. Let's add the Beckman Channel. And let's display the Layer Color panel. We'll select the Thin Film Shader effect here for texture. The preview already displays the effect of this shader. Let's select Add for Mix Mode. We will decrease the brightness as well. Let's display the Thin Film Shader settings, which only has a few options. The most important option is its thickness given in nanometers. Changing this value may change the final appearance of the surface considerably. Let's leave the default value of 500 this time. Let's select the Noise Texture to achieve a more realistic effect. And select the Gaseous option. Let's also do some other small enhancements shown on the screen. We'll adjust the octaves value and select the object option for the space value. We will also adjust the brightness and contrast values. The preview displays the effects of the modifications. Now all the layer color related settings are appropriate. Let's select the Additive option for Attenuation. Let's adjust the transparency of the surface. We'll select the None option for Texture because we want to achieve a generic, simple transparency. Let's enter 90 for Brightness. and we will also change the refraction value. Let's enable reflections by enabling all of the three checkboxes shown, and this will ensure a more soap bubble-like effect for the spheres. Let's create a rendered image using the adjusted surface settings. Now the spheres look more like real soap bubbles and are ready to be used in other projects as well. Here, for instance, we've added the bubbles created earlier to the front of an existing photo. Let's render the scene now. As you can see, the rendered image displays soap bubbles over the building photo. Here is another example that displays a bathroom interior. After rendering this scene, we can see that the previously created soap bubbles can create a unique atmosphere in this bathroom interior as well.